everyone. Welcome to my shop. My name is Steve. Today, um, I uh, thought I would uh, do a follow-up on a video I did earlier, um, three or four weeks ago now. Uh, it was concerning a, um, a Groover tool that I made and got a lot of, uh, a lot of views on it. I'm real happy everybody uh, saw it and uh, liked it. Um, and I had some comments from some of the viewers. Uh, great comments. Thank you for those. Uh, also, uh, one of the comments uh, kind of made me think about it. And maybe I thought, okay, I'll do a little follow-up and show a little bit more about how the tool is put together and, and uh, the various things that uh, uh, went into making it. So, uh, without any further ado, let's uh, move on to uh, uh, looking at the tool. Okay. All right. Now, uh, this is the tool, and this is the part that attaches to the lathe. I just made this piece to fit on my Allura's tool holder. Um, in order to take it apart, we have to remove this arm, uh, which we can do very easily right here. And if I turn this around, it'll come right out. There we go. So that comes off like that. And then this piece here, loosen that clamp there. And then this will slide off of there. And this comes out of there. And that comes off of there. And I've got a big. Big snap ring right there. So let me uh, uh, pause for just a second while I go get a tool. Back. And we want to take this snap ring off here. <laughs> Maybe we'll take it off. <sighs> Not very friendly. There she goes. Okay. That's our snap ring, and then this. Okay. What's the deal? There we go. Okay. All right, so there's the, the main body. That's as far as I can disassemble it. Uh, this is pressed in, this is pressed in. Uh, this bushing here is this one of the uh, mating bushings to uh, so that the these two gears mesh together in just the right amount of clearance. I made this spacer and this spacer uh, to take up for the uh, the slack in the in the teeth in the meshing of the teeth okay and then this this little bushing here goes inside of here and that's oh, there's one on the other side here that the tool with the cutter in it uh, goes into so this this goes through, oop, got it wrong way. It goes through this way. And so that just goes in and out, like you saw in the previous video. Um, so, I don't know what I can tell you. Let me just, let me just uh, get uh, something to measure with. And we'll just throw some. Throw some measurements out there for you. And my little specs here, so you can see. This block is uh, three point one three five or two five. Wouldn't matter. That's just what we had on the shelf, I guess. And then this dimension is. 4.925, and that again is 
all uh, to taste, you know. Let's see, I gave you the, the thickness. This is two, 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 six, five. And I machined this right here. So when it drops onto the Alora's tool holder, it's at the exact center. I don't have to worry about this being uh, up or down. I can I can adjust it on the on the holder by with the clamp. But if I just drop it on the holder, this uh, material that's been taken off here uh, lines it up perfectly. So I'm at uh, at zero with my cutter. My cutter's at the zero height. Okay, so <clears throat> my, uh, these should be one inch, I'm pretty sure, yeah, it's one inch. These were both one inch because our gears are at one inch, one inch shafts in them. Uh, this, this simply clamps on. This dog clamped on here like so uh, I just made that out of a chunk of aluminum I had laying around so that can be made any any way you like uh, these I'm, I've still got to I'll try and put it at the end of the video where I bought these uh, I don't remember if I got them off of eBay uh, I know they were new uh, but it could have been I think it might have, I'll have to check. I don't know where I found these. Uh, but that's the, let's see what we got here for size. These are right at five inches. And the smaller one is two point. 2.7, 2.75 approximately on the smaller gear. It's a two to one uh, ratio, twice around equals once around. Um, let's see what else. This was just a piece of, uh, I believe it's one inch or three quarter, which is it? Three quarter. It's three quarters stock here, square, and it measures uh, the full length of it is pretty close to six inches, about five and about five and a half inches. Okay, so uh, okay, uh, and it's just held on with a Allen wrench. Here and this is a T-slot nut I used up here. Uh, so let's see. Like I said to one viewer, uh, just uh, start with the two gears and uh, decide. How you want to approach it on your lathe, what size lathe you need to have it for. Uh, this was, uh, my lathe is an 18 inch lathe. So that might give you some indication of whether you go bigger or smaller on your teeth. You don't may not need something that big for a smaller lathe. It might be too much. Uh, this piece I made on top, and it's just held onto the, the root of the gear here. Uh, and I needed this slot in here so that I could put this on here. And this uh, will determine the stroke, how far the, uh, the business end of this, how far this thing travels. So as this turns, okay, if I move this, if I hit this at zero, it's just going to sit there and spin and nothing's going to happen. But as soon as I move off of zero, 
then it's going to start to move out every time it makes a revolution. It'll go out and then come back, out and come back. As this makes a, just like on a bicycle, it's going to rotate around. So the farther out I move this, the farther the stroke is on the cutting tool. I uh, hope that uh, explains anything. If you uh, have any more questions, why uh, just send me a comment and I'll, uh, I'll try and respond as fast as I can uh, and get back to you. So uh, I can't think what else uh, I can share with you. This was just an, an oil. I made this out of a brass uh, ring, pressed it in. Uh, so that I could uh, adjust and have somewhere for this this bearing to ride on. This is quite heavy. I, I would have to say it's probably five, maybe ten pounds, and uh, so I don't have a problem with it lifting up. In fact, it can't really lift up when this is when this is on there because this pretty much locks it on. This this won't this won't go up and down, and this is pretty rigid. So when this is in place here on the, the tool. Come on. Got a washer in the way here or something. Yeah. A little shim there. Get this inside of there. There we go. And I'll bring this over on top like that. There's not a lot of room for jumping around. So there. So there you have it that way. So as this thing turns, it will cause this to go in and out. So we need to lock this in place. Like that. And that's locked so as this turns what's moving here? I got I don't have this locked on here yet, do I? Alright, let's set this there. And I want this out to here. You want to make sure it's your travel doesn't come back and hit here like that it's I've got so I need this is too close so yeah move this out okay come on. there we go all right so now when this travels you can see that it's still pretty far let me lock this one in place too Helps to lock everything down. There we go. Okay. So now you can see how this, in relation to this, to this, how far that moves. It's actually moving double the distance, naturally. So that's your travel. And so you simply adjust this so that you get this in there because what you don't want to do is have this cutter go past the end of your part if it goes past the end of your part, then it'll it'll exit the part, and then when you put oil in there, the oil is just going to run right past uh, your and not stay in there. The whole idea is to keep the oil inside the bushing that you're grooving, so that the uh, the oil can lubricate. Uh, and if the if this extends outside of that and and the groove goes off the end of the part, uh, then the oil just leaks right out. So you have no not a so, good deal. Anyway, this goes over here. Or it actually goes on the end of here like this. And this part. It's the other bushing. I'll take that off. Oh. <laughs> okay. I did that kind of uniquely there. Okay. Put this back together. Okay. This comes off. This goes on. like that. So now that travels and so this is actually driving this gear. And so this, when this is on here, then the lathe chuck, this rod sticking on this arm, works as a dog on the chuck and that's what powers the, that's what powers everything is, is this right here. So. <clears throat> okay, and then 
let's get this back in here. There we go. So we're almost back together except for this clip, but I think you get the idea there. And uh, I hope that's been helpful. Uh, like I said, drop me a comment if you uh, have any more questions. and I'll either put it on another video or try and answer you directly. Okay. Thanks for watching. Uh, like and subscribe, as they say. See you later. Bye.